Kasim wants to work in Canada. So let me first clarify, and I've done that in uh, several of my other videos as well, that when you ask someone to assist them with work permit, uh, you need to understand that work permit application is the second step in the process of applying for work. Second step, that means there is a first step, and the first step is to get a job offer from an employer, and then there is a step involved on the part of the employer to get the job offer approved by the labor department here in Canada. So if you approach someone, especially in your local market where these people are selling jobs like anything, right? They would charge you money against the jobs they are arranging for you. And the news for you that doing so is totally illegal under the Canadian law. One cannot charge you any money, even a single cent to arrange you a job. So when you approach someone, you say, can, can you get me a work permit? It's a totally wrong approach because you cannot apply for work permit unless you have a job offer that has been approved by the labor department in Canada. And you cannot apply for the approval of the job. Your employer needs to do that. And in the process, they are required to provide uh, information to the labor department about the job, the legitimacy of the job, the requirement and the evidence that they did their best to find a suitable employee here in Canada, but they were unable to do so. They did their best, but they were unable to find a person to fill that job. That is why they should be allowed to hire someone from overseas. And if that justification gets uh, the approval of the Labor Department, then you can submit that positive labor market assessment with the work permit application. So no one can get you work permit directly unless that job of there is a job offer there is a legitimate job offer and you have not paid for that job offer no one can charge you for this so very important for you to understand do not pay for your jobs do not fall prey to advertisements online on social media people asking for money even for ad toward administrative service fee even a single cent so where do you look for jobs so my recommendation is always to approach employers directly online. Each one of them apply uh, or, or advertise for their jobs online. Uh, Job Bank Canada, the official website of the Canadian government, is uh, uh, the most important website. You should create your profile there and you can use uh, uh, plenty of resources over there to create your profile, to create your resume, and then look for jobs that suit you and then apply. Yes, there are employers there who are only looking for Canadians and they are not interested in hiring people from overseas, but those are not your target anyways. Uh, you need to look for a, uh, an employer who's open to hiring people from overseas and uh, approach them. Um, but um, you need to make sure that when you approach an employer and they turn out to be uh, someone who asks money, then obviously they were pretending to be employers. They were just those people who are disguised and uh, they were looking for your money. So you need to ask them, why are you asking me to pay you when I am the job seeker? You should be paying me, right? So you have to understand that. So job bank, is one of the greatest resource, but there are other job sites as well. I would always recommend that you create your LinkedIn profile and um, sign up for alerts from LinkedIn um, so that uh, current jobs relevant in your field could be delivered to your inbox and uh, other websites like indeed.com or monster.ca. So register yourself and if you are still seeking the assistance of uh, a professional, make sure that they are in Canada and they are properly registered as recruitment uh, agents, uh, recruiters. And under Canadian law, recruiters cannot also charge you any money. So even if a licensed recruiter asks you any money, first of all, a licensed recruiter will, not, will never ask unless that person is pretending to be a licensed recruiter. 
and um, those are available online as well do your research and apply uh, accordingly all right so uh, as i always recommend your first stop your first um, point of start should always be the canadian government's website i'll i'll just share it with you right here So this is the website of Canadian government, cic.gc.ca. And you would see that there are sections, visit, work, immigrate, study, citizenship. So it's a no brainer where you should be starting your research. Uh, it is not a bad idea to ask someone for assistance, but it is indeed a bad idea to, to ask someone for help without knowing the process yourself. The information is out there on the official website. So even if you're hiring the services of a licensed consultant, I'm not talking about those who are in your local market, absolutely unauthorized, no matter what they do, no matter how do they market themselves, they are still unauthorized. And at best, they are only the agents of licensed consultants. You don't want to deal with agents. You want to deal with the consultant directly. But even if you are hiring the services of a licensed consultant this is the place to start you don't want to be taken for a ride you don't want to you know lose your money you don't want to enter into the system or, or commit to something which is not going to materialize yes the system is invitation based you if if you qualify still there is no guarantee that you're going to get an invitation to apply that is something else. But if you did not qualify in first place and someone gave you uh, misinformation, did not guide you properly just for the sake of collecting money from you and you did not do your, uh, your research, you will end up losing your money. So don't do that. Uh, this is my sincere advice.